Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome in to Boyd County High School, Larry Addington Field, where tonight we have a My Town matchup between the Ashland Tomcats and the Boyd County Lions. One of four My Town matchups you can catch here on the My Town Sports Network tonight. It is two games, Boyd County and Ashland, here at Boyd County, the baseball on the softball side. The girls are underway down at Ashland. Uh, they started at 5.30, and we also have uh, Greenup County at Russell on the softball side at 6 o'clock and Russell at Greenup on the baseball side at 6 o'clock. So I encourage you to tune in to all four of those My Town matchups here tonight. It's Here I'll have the 14-2 and two Boyd County Lions ranked as high as number one in the state in some publications. But they are a top five team throughout the state coming off of a big doubleheader win against Paul Lawrence Dunbar and Lexington Catholic over the weekend and came back from uh, Vero Beach with only one loss uh, down at Vero Beach. Looks like they were 5-1 uh, and one on that trip with only with an 8-4 to four defeat to Bullet East. The other uh, defeat they had was early in the season, a one-run loss to Louisville Trinity, also ranked as one of the top three teams in the state. When we come back, we're going to take a we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll talk about the Ashland Tomcats. You're watching the My Town matchup here between Ashland and Boyd County on My Town TV. We'll be right back. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. We're about 10 minutes or so away from the first pitch here at Larry Addington Field out here at Boyd County High School. The lineup for the visiting Ashland Tomcats tonight, I'll run it down for you, is uh, leading off playing center field will be L.J. Murphy batting second and behind the plate, Brady Marushi. Pierce Walmsley will be the second baseman, bat third. Parker Church will be at first and he'll bat fourth. Sam Lyons in left field. Austin Blevins at shortstop, and he'll bat six. Caden Church will be on the mound tonight for Ashland. He'll bat seventh. Gage Millet, Millet <clears throat> excuse me, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, will be in right field. And Zane Ingram will be the third baseman and bat ninth. And speaking of Caden Church on the year, got his statistics here as far as uh, pitching goes. This will be... His seventh appearance on the year, and this will be his fourth start. He has a record of one and two on the year, an ERA of 5.01. Has thrown 22 and a third innings and given up 21 runs, 16 of those earned, 19 walks, and only eight strikeouts on the year. Ashland has struggled a little bit. They're three and 12 on the year. And, uh, we're going to come back. We're going to take our second break because I think we're getting closer to uh, – this uh, this game here, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about the Boyd County Lions, give you their lineup and where they're at 
You're watching the My Town matchup between Ashland and Boyd County here on My Town TV. We'll be right back. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Diedrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care, advice you can trust, advanced technology to understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. Struggling with addiction or know someone who is? MyTown TV is here to help. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to MyTownTVCares.com for links and contact information for local resources dedicated to addiction recovery. You're not alone. Reach out today. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. Trust is something earned, not given. For over 90 years, KFB has built trust in your community. We believe our neighborhood is our responsibility. Through our quality service, innovative products, and local decision making, we are committed to your financial success. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. From hand-cut steaks to fall off the bone ribs, Texas Roadhouse has something for everyone. Visit TexasRoadhouse.com or download the Texas Roadhouse mobile app to get on the wait list or place a to-go order online. Fresh baked bread and honey cinnamon butter await at Texas Roadhouse. Order their legendary catering for your next event. Located at 501 Winchester Avenue across from Ashland Town Center Mall, Texas Roadhouse will help you support your local school. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. Folks, we just saw the newly hired Boyd County girls basketball coach, Kim Groves, throw out the first pitcher. She will take over for Pete Fraley in that capacity. Uh, so uh, I'm sure she's excited uh, for the opportunity to take over a, a great program led by Pre Pete Fraley. And so we're getting ready to start here. I'll give you the defensive lineup for Boyd County. It'll be Peyton Jackson on the mound. Caleb Gray will be behind the plate from third around to first. It'll be Josh Kelly, Alex Martin, Ryan Brown, and Brogan Jones will be at first from left to right. It'll be Slater, McKnight, and Vanover. And for Ashland in their batting order, it'll be Murphy, 
then Marushi, and then Wamsley will be the one, two, three hitters tonight. And for Boyd County, Peyton Jackson will take the hill. And to give you some uh, great numbers for Peyton Jackson, this will be his fifth game as a starter, or not a fifth game as a starter, but fifth appearance, his fourth game as a starter. He is 4-0 and on the year has a 0 0.39 ERA, has thrown 18 uh, innings, only given up nine hits, three runs, only one of those earned, seven walks, and 21 strikeouts in 18 innings. So uh, Peyton Jackson, one of the great uh, pitchers in this multiple great pitching staff here at Boyd County, one of the main reasons that they are expected uh, to possibly contend for a state championship this year uh, should be an exciting as we're getting to about the halfway point. We got about four and a half weeks or so left uh, before we get into district and then region play. And then early June, we will be down in Lexington. If Boyd County advances that far, we will be following them, at least for sure, audio uh, as they try to get Boyd County's second state championship. When they won, the, their only other one was in 2001. They won the state championship. And actually, the Boyd County Lady Lions softball coach, uh, Lance Caesar, in his first year, was a member of that 2001 uh, state championship baseball team. So Boyd County with a great opportunity this year, one of the top teams in the state. And we'll see uh, how Ashland will uh, – Take him on tonight. As I said, it's going to be Murphy, Marushi, and Walmsley. And as I mentioned, three other games here tonight. You've got uh, uh, softball, Greenup and Russell, and you've got baseball, Greenup and Russell. And we also have softball action from Ashland that uh, started at about 5.30. So they've been going about a half an hour between Boyd County and Ashland. So four big My Town matchups here tonight on the My Town TV Sports Network. So it looks like we're getting ready to uh, – Bring in L.J. Murphy's going to, there's the throw down, and L.J. Murphy's going to step in. To the batter's box, and L.J. Murphy's batting 244 on the year. It's 10 for 41. Three RBIs has drawn eight walks on the year, but has struck out 13 times. And so Murphy will step in to face Peyton Jackson. And Jackson right across the middle of the plate, 0-1 on Murphy. Step back in. Here's the 0-1 from Jackson. And that's going to be strike two. And Jackson started out throwing the ball right across the plate, as I'm sure Coach Conley would want him to do, is just throw strikes. Jackson with the 0-2 coming plateward. And that one's inside and gets away, but... Obviously no one on, so it's one ball and two strikes. And Murphy hits that one off the left field, down the left field line and goes out of play. It'll stay one and two. Murphy stayed alive there. Jackson will come plate with the one-two. And that one stays high and away. And Murphy with a nice job started this uh, at bat 0-2 and, and has worked it way back even to two balls, two strikes. And that one stays high. Now it's worked full. So you went from 0-2 and, and Murphy's worked the count to full. And if you're Jackson of Boyd County, you don't want to put the leadoff runner on here to start the game. And that one's fouled away, too. Murphy stays alive. It'll stay full count. And that's strike three on the corner. I thought that was a little outside, but... Umpire rings him up, so Brady Marushi will now step in for Ashland. He's batting 390 on the year, having a great season so far. 16 of 41 
Leads the team in RBIs and home runs, doubles. Uh, also tied for the lead in base on balls. So he has uh, two homers, five doubles, 12 RBIs, and eight walks he's drawn this so far this year. And he takes strike one. Looked like a little bit of an off-speed curveball there from Jackson. Dropped right over the plate. 0-1 now on Marushi. Fastball stayed outside, one ball and one strike. Peyton Jackson's got some giddy up and go in that fastball. It gets on you in a hurry. An off speed pitch, and Marushi chases him one in the dirt, and it's going to go to one and two. Nice pitch there by Jackson to get Marushi to chase that one. And Marushi hits it down, scooped up there by Josh Kelly over to Brogan Jones. A nice play there from Josh Kelly over to Brogan Jones for the second out of the inning. So your second baseman, Pierce Walmsley, will now come to the plate. Walmsley on the year is batting 205. He is 8 for 39 on the year with five RBIs, and he's drawn four walks. Struck out 14 times on the year. Third most on the Ashland team. And that one's fouled away. Strike one. And that one's taken a little low. Ball one. One and one. That one's fouled off. So it's one ball and two strikes now on Walmsley. And strike three and two strikeouts in that, and that'll end the inning. No runs, no hits, no one left on at the end of a half an inning. It's Ashland zero. Boyd County coming to bat. We'll be back right after this. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. To know that we impacted them it, um, really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastad because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. All right, folks, we're back getting ready to start the bottom of the first, and you'll have uh, Ashland's defensive alignment, Caden Church on the mound, Brady Marushi <clears throat> behind the plate. It'll be Zane Ingram, uh, Blevins, Walmsley, and Parker Church from third to first, left to right. It is Lyons, Murphy, Murphy and Millet. Millet. For Boyd County coming to the plate will be Ryan Brown, uh, J.K. McKnight, Alex Martin, and Peyton Jackson are your first four hitters due up here in the bottom of the first. Uh, Ashland went three up and three down. Jackson with two strikeouts and a ground out in the top of the first, and that'll bring Boyd County up to bat. And it'll bring Brian, Ryan Brown, who will come to the plate, and he is batting 444 on the season. He is 24 of 54. He scored the most runs on the team with 22, has 15 RBIs, and he's walked 13 times, leads the team in base on balls, has two triples and three doubles on the year. So uh, Ryan Brown, very productive out of that leadoff uh, position. And then second will be J.K. McKnight, followed by Alex Martin. And then there's the throw down by the catcher, and we're going to have Ryan Brown to step in here in the bottom of the first. And just a reminder to – 
We have three other My Town matchups here tonight on My Town TV. Greenup and Russell both in softball and baseball, and we also have Boyd County in Ashland. The uh, softball Lady Lions are down at Ashland, and they're uh, facing off against Ashland here tonight. So four big My Town matchups here. We're excited to be able to bring these to you as Ryan Brown steps in, and Church will bring the first pitch. And that one's going to stay up just a little bit, and it's going to be ball one. And it's going to be low ball two. Speaking of these Boyd County lines, they'll be back on My Town TV two more times this week. I'll have them on Thursday night down at Greenup County. And then that's strike one, and then they will play host to Cabell Midland on Saturday at noon is what it's scheduled for. Uh, obviously, barring any weather issues, but uh, we hope we don't have any weather issues. Had plenty of those in the last week or so. So, three and one now on Brown, but they'll be on three times uh, this week. The Boyd County Lions will be after they've made it back from Vero Beach and then took a double header against Paul Lunch, Dun Paul Lawrence Dunbar, and beat a very good Lexington Catholic team this weekend in Lexington. Beat that Catholic team 6-3, to three, and Lexington Catholic will be here for the Derby Classic here first weekend in May here at Boyd County. Always a great event. Takes strike two. It's run the count full now on Ryan Brown. We'll have several of those games here on the My Town TV Sports Network. So here comes the payoff pitch to Ryan Brown. And that one's going to stay high. Brown is going to draw a walk, and that's going to bring up J.K. McKnight, as I mentioned, 490 on the year. He's the leading average hitter for Boyd County. 25 of 51, 14 RBIs. He's also drawn 11 walks as well. Hit a lot of leadoff hitter for Boyd County last year. And on deck is Alex Martin for Boyd County. Church comes plateward, and that one stays high for McKnight. 1-0. Brown will take off. He's... Uh, not very many. He's had four attempts at a stolen base this year and stolen three. Been successful three times. The batter right now, J.K. McKnight, is the leading stolen base uh, person for Boyd County. He's seven of eight on the year. And also Josh Kelly is six of seven. Those are the two top base stealers for Boyd County. Church is looking brown back, and now he'll come plateward with the 1-0. And McKnight hits that one high in the air to center field. That's Murphy going back. He's going to camp underneath it, and he makes the catch for the first out of the inning. And Brown will go back to first base, and McKnight got under that one just a touch, and Murphy was able to camp underneath it. And so that will bring up Alex Martin, the shortstop, who's committed to Xavier to play baseball next year, senior here on this team. He's batting 415 on year, has three home runs, leads the team in that. Also – Shares the team lead of 19 runs batted in with Brogan Jones, who's the number five hitter. Martin takes that one low, ball one. Peyton Jackson is on deck for Boyd County. In the bottom of the first, still no score here. Ryan Brown on first, one out. And Church goes over to push his Brown back. He gets back standing up safely. Church back on the rubber, looking plateward. And he'll deliver. And that's going to stay outside, ball two. So 2-0 two and oh on Martin. And Church has struggled to find the strike zone to a degree so far here on the third through three hitters for Boyd County. Went to full on Brown. And that one stays high, so they're going to go 3-0 and oh on Alex Martin. Normally, you're going to have a player take here on a 3-0 pitch. Try to get another base runner. I would expect Martin to take here. And four straight, and that's two walks here in the first inning by Caden Church, and that's going to put Ryan Brown to second, Alex Martin to first, and now Peyton Jackson will come up. He's batting 356 on the year. 
16 of 45. He scored eight runs and had eight RBIs on the season. Big opportunity to help himself here with two on, only one out here in the bottom of the first. And Jackson hits that one high into right field. Camping underneath it is Millet, and he makes the catch. Brown starts to tag and then goes back. So nice job there. We're two outs now. So Brogan Jones, they've walked two runners to get on base, and Ashland is within one out of getting out of a little bit of a jam. Not a huge jam, but they had two on with one out. So Brogan Jones will come up to the plate. And Brogan has uh, got 19 RBIs tied for the, lead, the team lead, 17 of 49 on the year, batting 347 on the season so far. And Jones thought about it, but that stays low. Ball one. Almost swung there, but was able to hold up. Church will step back on the pitching rubber. And that one stays high. Ball two. This is the fourth batter, I believe, in this inning that uh, Church has went at least 2-0 and to start the at-bat. It's going to be 3-0. and It's going to be outside. Jacob Vanover is on deck for Boyd County if Brogan Jones is able to get aboard safely. And he takes strike one. Tried to sell it there a little bit, but Church took a little bit off of it, got it across the plates. Now three and one on Jones. And that one's outside, so Jones draws a walk, and that's the third walk of the bottom of the first here. Now we've got the bases full, and Jacob Vanover is going to come to the plate. He's batting 267 on the year. He is 12 of 45, and he is second. Of course, I guess you got two guys tied for first, so I guess he's third on the team, and RBIs was 16. And Big opportunity here for Vanover to base hit. We'll drive in a couple. And Vanover hits it right back over the second baseman's head. That's going to score two. Brown comes around to score. Martin comes around to score. And Jones is going to... Jog into third base, a two-run RBI single for Jacob Vanover. Puts Boyd County up two to nothing. Now number 24, Grant so Ryan Brown comes in to score. Alex Martin comes in to score. Brogan Jones moves over to third base on the single. Nice piece of hitting by Vanover, and that will bring up Grant Slater. Slater on the year, batting 393. It's his 13th game, and he's, he's appeared as a hitter. Good pitcher for the Boyd County Lions as well. And he takes strike one. And speaking of Slater uh, on the mound, he's one of three Boyd County pitchers that have an ERA of .40. No numbers in front of the decimal point. .40, one of three that Boyd County has. And that's hit in the left field. Lyons has to go over and makes a catch. I think he lost it there for just a minute, but makes the catch. So that records the third out. Boyd County leaves two on, no Ashland errors. And I believe we had one hit, two runs at the end of one. It's Boyd County two, Ashland zero. We'll be back right after this. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel.
All right, folks, we're back getting ready to start the top of the second inning. Boyd County takes a 2-0 lead in the bottom of the first on a two-out, two-RBI single by Jacob Vanover to push across two runs to give Boyd County the 2-0 lead here early in this one. Top of the second coming up for Ashland. You're going to have the four, five, and six hitters. That's Parker Church, Sam Lyons, and Austin Blevins will come up for the Tomcats. And so Parker Church on the year is batting 271. He's 13 of 48 on the year, has six RBIs, a double, and he struck out 11 times on the season. And Jackson's right down the middle for strike one. Jackson stayed around the plate pretty well there in the top of the first. And, and that's fouled away 0-2 now, and... Caden Church had a little bit of trouble there in the first inning finding the strike zone, wound up giving up three walks, which then hurt him with the two, the two RBI single by Jacob Vanover. And here's the 0-2. And it's a swing and a miss in the dirt, but Gray's going to pick it up, up to Jones, and that's going to be the strikeout completed. So that is three strikeouts out of four outs here for Peyton Jackson. And now Sam Lyons will step in. He's appeared in, this will be his 14th appearance. And he's batting 108 on the season, four for 37, and a swing and a miss for Lions. Austin Blevins is on deck for Ashland. And another swing and a miss. And Jackson's just bringing the heat so far. Here's the 0-2 to Lions. And that one stays high and away. One ball and two strikes. And stays outside again. Two balls and two strikes. Count even now after going 0-2. Jackson throws two outside the strike zone. Two balls, two strikes, one out here in the top of the second. Boyd County with a 2-0 lead. And that one's going to stay inside. Looked like a breaking ball that didn't break, and it's going to be counts full now. Kind of feel like Jackson's just going to come right down Main Street here. And it looks like that one stays low, and that's going to be a walk for Sam Lyons. And that's going to bring up Austin Blevins. And Austin Blevins on the season. He is four for 35, batting 114 on the year. And that one's fouled away. Lyons does have two stolen bases. He's two of two on stolen bases and attempts. Here's the 0-1 to Blevins. Lions is going, and Gray's got him if he gets it ahead, and he gets him. Nice play there by Caleb Gray. Out to the shortstop, Alex Martin, and get caught stolen on Sam Lyons. So that's now two outs, and now Austin Blevins will step in uh, with an 0-2 count here. Nice job by Caleb Gray. Nice throw. Nice job by Martin to cover. And a swing and a miss and a strikeout, and that'll end the inning. No hits, no runs, no Boyd County errors, no one left on at the end of one and a half. It's Boyd County 2, Ashland nothing. We'll be back right after this. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. 
That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. All right, folks, we are back getting ready to start the bottom of the second inning. It's Boyd County leading two to nothing. They've been three up and three down on Ashland Jackson has Peyton Jackson has four strikeouts so far and uh, gave up a walk but then Sam Lyons was uh, cut down at second base trying to steal by a nice throw by Caleb Gray and so for Boyd County it's going to be the eight nine and one hitters it's going to be Dustin Webb the DH tonight followed by Josh Kelly and then we'll go back to the top of the order with Ryan Brown will be the eight nine and one hitters here in the bottom of the second for Boyd County. Caden Church will start his second inning on the mound. He gave up two runs there in the bottom of the first and only gave up one hit but gave up three base on balls, and that really hurt him, and Vanover was able to make him pay with a nice sharp single in the right center field that scored two for Boyd County. And that's going to be a ball outside to Webb. Dustin Webb on the year. Is four of seven at the plate. It's 571 on the year so far. Moves the count to two and O. Oh. And holds up on that one, but takes a strike. Two balls and a strike. And we've got the shadow starting to creep in. It's going to be right behind home plate here before too long. That one stays high, 3-0. and and You hear folks talk about sometimes the shadow with the pitcher to the hitter. If there's, Once the shadow gets across the batter's box, sometimes it's a little harder to see the ball to go from the sun to the shade. But And Webb takes strike two, so it's now full. And the payoff pitch. And Webb swings and misses, was out in front of that one. And Caden Church gets his first strikeout of the day. So Josh Kelly will now step in. Kelly batting 244 on the season. He's 10 for 41. With six RBIs. He's second on the team in stolen bases with six. That one stays high, ball one. Kelly fouls that one off down the right field line. It's going to stay out of play, so it's one ball and one strike. Here in the bottom of the second, one out. Nobody on here for the Lions. They lead two to nothing with two runs in the bottom of the first. Took something off of that one. It's going to stay high. Two balls and a strike now. That one stayed high. It's three and one. Church is really laboring here. He's throwing a lot of pitches. He's gotten to three balls on just about every Boyd County hitter. I think all but two so far. And we're on hitter number nine. Kelly hits that one in the right center field. That one's going to get down, and he's going to have a single. It's misplayed out there by the right fielder, and Kelly hustles around and gets the second. Bobbled there just a little bit. Now batting number six, Ryan Brown. So now Ryan Brown will step in. So Kelly gets on with a one-out base hit. He never... Stopped running hard as he turned first base, and it took, took just a little bobble by Millette out there. And Kelly's on second scoring position for Ryan Brown, who walked his first time up. Nice job by Marushi. Kept the ball in front of him. So 
opportunity for the top of the lineup here for Boyd County. Only one down. Brown with an RBI opportunity, runner in scoring position. And we got time, and we have a balk, and that's going to move Kelly over to third base. So now Brown with a real opportunity. Ground ball to the right side, a fly ball. Either way, it looks like they're going to draw the infield in and try to cut the runner off at the plate if we have a ground out. And here's the pitch to Brown. And he takes it strike one, one ball and one strike. And that one's down low, two balls and a strike to Brown. J.K. McKnight's on in the on-deck circle for Boyd County. That one's high. Marushi tries to throw back to third, and Kelly's able to get back. So it's now three balls and a strike. Here's the 3 1. And Brown thought he had ball four, and it's called on the outside corner, so now it's a full count. Stays high and in, and Brown draws his second walk of the game, and that's going to put him on first. And we're going to bring up J.K. McKnight, who flew out to center field in the bottom of the first. If this at bat goes, depending on how the count goes, if it goes deep into the count, you might see Brown take off and try to steal second. He actually is going on the first pitch. Marucci fakes and no throw down. And so Brown will now move to second. So two runners in scoring position for J.K. McKnight, who has 14 RBIs on the season already. And McKnight reaches and pops that one into the air. That's trouble. Everybody converging, and it's going to fall in. And Brown had to stay to see if it was going to be caught, but McKnight gets a single and an RBI. So Josh Kelly's going to score, put Boyd County up three to nothing. And you've got Brown at second, McKnight at first. And now Alex Martin will step in. He drew a base on balls in the first inning and came around to score. He was the second runner to score on that base hit by Jacob Vanover. And Martin swings and misses at a pitch that was pretty low inside there. I think Martin was looking to try to drive the ball there and just couldn't get a hold of it. 0-1 on Martin. Martin fouls that one away. 0-2 now. Church trying to bear down and get this out. It'd be big if he can get an out here with... The number three hitter at the plate and only one out and two on. Love to get at least one out here and not give up any more runs. Church will come plateward. That one is high. It's one ball and two strikes now. Church steps off the mound, composes himself, gets back on the pitch and rubber, getting ready to come plateward. And there's a 3-1. Martin reaches out, pops that one up in the air. Parker Church going back, makes the catch. Big out there for Ashland on the pop-up. That'll bring up Peyton Jackson with two down. Boyd County scored two runs with two down back in the bottom of the first. Trying to get some more here. Got a runner in scoring position. 
Ryan Brown on second. Peyton Jackson will step in, and he flew out to right field for the second out of the bottom of the first for Boyd County. And that one's going to stay low, ball one. Church sets, comes plateward. And Jackson takes a strike, one ball and one strike now. And Jackson's base hit to the right, right side is scooped up there. Brown's going to round third. He's going to score. And McKnight's going to hold it second. So an RBI single for Peyton Jackson. So now Boyd County leads 4 nothing. That will bring up Brogan Jones. He drew a walk in the first inning. He was stranded on third to end the bottom of the first. Jones hitting 347 on the year coming into this game. RBI opportunity here. Two down. Base hit will score at least one. That's going to be a strike on the outside corner. 0-1 on Jones. And that's hit down the third baseline. Ingram's able to step on the bag for the out, but not before Boyd County scores a run. They leave uh, one on, and you've got Boyd County with two runs on two base hit, three base hits. No Ashland errors at the end of two complete. It's Boyd County four, Ashland zero. We'll be back right after this. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollock's. Pollock's has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollock's from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. All right, folks, we are back getting ready to start the top of the third inning. Boyd County, two runs in the bottom of the first, two runs in the bottom of the second to lead four to nothing. Ashland will be bringing up their, th their seven, eight, and nine hitters. Caden Church, the pitcher, Gage Millette, and Zane Ingram will come to the plate to face Peyton Jackson, who has faced the minimum amount of hitters so far and has uh, – Struck out four of the six batters he's faced. Has yet to give up a hit uh, by my calculations. Has given up a walk, but not given up a hit yet. So it'll bring up Caden Church. And Church swings and misses. And that's strike two from Jackson. Quickly 0-2 on Caden Church. And that is grounded down the third baseline, and it's going to be foul. Scooped up there by Josh Kelly, but it's going to stay foul. So it'll stay 0-2 on Church. Top of the third. Boyd County with a 4-0 lead. Here's the 0-2 pitch from Jackson. 
And a swing and a miss. It gets away from Gray. He'll scoop it up and he'll throw it on to first base to complete the strikeout. So that is the fifth strikeout for Jackson. And now Gage Millette, the right fielder, will come to the plate. He's batting 286 on the season. Here's the first pitch from Jackson to Millette. That is right down the middle, strike one. Jackson has been around all the around the plate all evening so far. And that one's fouled back quickly. 0-2 now on Millette. And it's going to stay outside, ball one. One ball and two strikes. And a swing and a miss by Millette for a strikeout. That is the sixth strikeout on the night for Peyton Jackson. And Zane Ingram will now step into the plate, the number nine hitter for the Tomcats. Playing third base tonight, Zane Ingram. And there is a strike one. As I mentioned, Jackson has been around the plate all night tonight, looking for his fifth win against no defeat so far this year. And that one's going to stay inside, ball one, one ball and one strike. And that's strike two. One ball, two strikes on Ingram. Jackson making short work of the Tomcats here in the bottom of the or the top of the third. And that one's in the dirt. Nice block there by Gray. It's going to go two balls, two strikes now. Ingram has choked up on the bat and swing, oh, held up, but it's called strike three. So no runs on no hits, no errors, no one left on at the end of two and a half. It's Boyd County four, Ashland zero. We'll be back right after this. Trust is something earned, not given. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the tri-state. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here getting ready to go to the bottom of the third. Boyd County leading four to nothing. Peyton Jackson having a great game on the mound for the Lions through three innings that he's pitched, uh, three up and three down. He's faced the minimum amount of batters, not given up a hit, and has seven strikeouts for Boyd County. And this will bring up uh, Jacob Vanover. It'll be Vanover, Slater, and Webb for Boyd County. Vanover with a single and drove in two runs there in the bottom of the first. Had a two-out, bases-loaded uh, RBI single to right center field, and he'll lead off here for Boyd County. And takes ball one from Caden Church. And 
And Vanover hits that one up the middle. It's scooped up by Wamsley. He'll go across to Parker Church and get the put out. So first out, grounded out to second base, and that'll bring up Grant Slater, who ended the first inning with a fly out to left field, so he's 0 for 1 on the day. Boyd County looking for base runners, try to get back to the top of that order. Slater takes ball one high. And Slater hits that one right up the middle. Murphy is going back, and it gets over his head, and it's going to go all the way to the wall. Slater's going to come in to second, and he's going to stand up. So Slater now on second base. That ball started sailing on Murphy out there and just got over his head, and now Dustin Webb will step in. Webb struck out to start the bottom of the second for Boyd County. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Squared to bunt. Ball stayed high, so it's 1-0 and on Webb. And a little, excuse me, swing, a little roller to Walmsley and gets it over to first for the putout, but that's going to sacrifice uh, Slater over to third. Wasn't sure if he wanted to swing, and it kind of hit the bat and a little slow roller. Nice play by Walmsley to charge it and get the out. And Ashland with an opportunity now, two outs, only one runner on. Josh Kelly steps to the plate. He doubled and come around to score last inning, and Marushi's going to throw down to third. And uh, Slater just dives back in. And Slater is down. I don't know if he just got into the bag with his arm or his hand or something, but... Uh, Tell you what, let's take a quick one-minute break. So they're going to – well, let's see. Wait, hang on just a second. Slater's up. Looks like he's all right. Looks like it was just that shoulder maybe. That's what I thought. He may have got that into third base. Yep, that's what he's working on. So I think it, he just kind of maybe hit it there really hard. And um, sure, he'll, hopefully he'll be all right there. But he's going to stay in the ball game. Josh Kelly will be at the plate. One and zero on Josh Kelly, and he takes ball too high. Church goes over to third. Slater just steps back. Still two and zero on Josh Kelly now. And Kelly hits that one down in between third and short, and that's going to score a run. So Kelly gets an RBI single, makes a big turn, and is able to go back to first base. So Kelly is two for two on the day, his first RBI. So now that's going to bring Ryan Brown back to the plate. His third appearance here. He's walked twice and scored two runs on the day. No official at bat yet, and but has come around to score twice. He takes the ball high, 1-0. Boyd County has done some damage with two outs here today. Brown trying to keep this little bit of a rally going here for Boyd. Takes 2-0. J.K. McKnight on deck if Brown's able to reach.
Church throws over and Kelly is back safely. And that one stays outside and low, and it's going to be 3 0. Brown done a nice job today making church throw strikes and hasn't been able to get Brown to chase anything. Brown's had two walks, and I'm sure he'll be taken again, and that's going to be ball four, and that's three walks in a row for Ryan Brown today, and he'll move up to first, and Josh Kelly will go to second, and that'll bring up J.K. McKnight for Boyd County. He singled and had an RBI in the second and flew out to center. So he's one for two on the day. Big slow breaking ball there. Drops in for strike one on McKnight. Nice pitch there by Caden Church. It's 0-1 on McKnight. Runners at first and second. Two outs here in the bottom of the third. Boyd County's pushed one across so far. Looking for more. Another big sweeping curve ball and stays out of the zone. It's now one ball and one strike. That one stays away. Two balls and a strike. Runner in scoring positions, Josh Kelly at second, Ryan Brown's at first. McKnight can put this in an alley, might be able to score two, and that stays outside, ball three, three and one. McKnight with an opportunity here, should get a pitch to hit. And McKnight hits that one in the left field, that's going to be over the head, and it's gone! Home run, J.K. McKnight, three-run homer to left field. Puts that get put brings Boyd County up to an eight to nothing lead. J.K. McKnight with his fourth RBI on the day with this three-run homer. Had an RBI in the second, and he drives in Ryan Brown and Josh Kelly. And that is McKnight's first home run of the season. And that's going to bring up Alex Martin. And Martin is 0 for 1 on the day. He drew a walk in the first, came around to score, and he popped up to the first baseman in the second inning. Two outs, nobody on now. And Martin hits that one into left field for a base hit. And he'll get on, and that'll bring up Peyton Jackson. Jackson is one for two on the day. He singled last inning, drove in a run, and he flew out to right field in the first inning. Church over to first to try to chase Martin back. Martin has five stolen base attempts on the year, been successful four times. That one's outside and in the dirt. Ball one. One and oh on Jackson. And that's in the dirt. And Martin's going to go. Marushi with the throw. And the official took a while, but... Martin is out. And that will end the inning, but not before Boyd County pushes across... Uh, Five, too many runs. <laughs> five, five runs. Yes, five runs, four runs. So we have eight to nothing. I'll title that up when we come back. I'll give you the runs, hits, and errors when we come back. You're watching the My Town matchup here on My Town TV. We'll be right back.
Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at Primary Plus. All right, folks, we are back. And we have Boyd County with an 8 to nothing lead here. And going to the top of the fourth, they had four runs in that third inning. Led, well, not led off, but capped off by J.K. McNotch. Three-run homer to left field. He drove in three runs, and that ended the inning there. And you had uh, Slater and Kelly uh, score. Uh, Slater had already scored, and then Kelly and Brown scored on the McKnight home run. It's now eight to nothing, uh, Boyd County. Two in the first, two in the second, and four in the third. And now Ashland will come up to the bat, and they'll be back to the top of the order here, the top of the first. L.J. Murphy, who struck out to begin the game, swinging a miss on Jackson's first pitch. It'll be Murphy, Marushi, and Wamsley. Swing and a miss. So it's 0-2 on Murphy. Takes that one outside. One ball and two strikes. That one's popped up and out of play, so it'll stay one and two. That one's in the dirt. Two balls and two strikes. And that one's hit into the right field for the first hit of the game. Murphy gets the first base hit, base hit off of Peyton Jackson, and he'll go to first base. Brady Marushi will now step in. Marushi grounded out to third base to in the top of the first. He's 0 for 1 on the day. And that one gets past Caleb Gray, pops out of his glove, and Murphy's able to move up. First time Ashland has had a runner on second, only their second uh, base runner of the day. Sam Lyons walked back in the second inning but was cut down trying to steal by a nice throw by Caleb Gray. And Now Ashland for the first time today with a runner in scoring position. Murphy on the pass ball moves up to second. 1-0 on Marushi. And it's going to stay high, 2-0 and on Marushi. And it's going to go to 3-0. and That was high and tight. It's a 3 0. That's going to be strike one right down the middle. Marushi taking the whole way. And Marushi fouls that one off. Count now full at three and two. Jackson set. Here's the payoff pitch to Marushi. 
Has hit right back up the middle. Marushi's going to get that. It's going to be picked up by McKnight, and Murphy's going to score. And Ashland breaks the scoring column, makes it 8-1 to one on a single by Marushi, and it hit off of Jackson's leg, and I think a couple folks are going to ask him. He's waving him off like he's fine. So Ashland with two hits back to back. So Jonah Francis will come in to run as a courtesy runner for Marushi. And that's going to bring Pierce Walmsley to the plate. So Ashland. Hadn't got a hit going into the top of the fourth here, but is able to put two hits together and by getting the pass ball from Boyd is able to get a run across. Murphy singled, went to second on a pass ball, and then Marushi singled up the middle to drive in Murphy for Ashland's first one first run of the game. So this will be Walmsley stepping in, and he struck out in the first inning. And that is a strike, one and one. Parker Church is on deck for Ashland. Jackson tries to throw over. It gets past Jones, but no advancement by Ashland, by Francis. Didn't get too far away. Boyd County does have a pitcher warming up in the bullpen. And that's a swing and a miss there by Walmsley. One and two. You've got Towns Young and Parker Gibson just starting to throw just a little bit. I think Parker Gibson would probably be the choice to come in if they relieve Jackson. Two balls and two strikes now on Walmsley. And he went around, and that's a strike. So a strikeout for Jackson, his eighth of the day, and that's going to bring up Parker Church now with one down. Still a runner on first, and Church also struck out in the second inning. Jackson with that strikeout of Walmsley, is, that was his eighth strikeout by my count here so far through three and a third. That one stays high and tight, ball one. And there he goes, Francis, and Martin was late coming over but didn't have the ball, so we've got a stolen base for Francis. I think caught Boyd County sleeping just a touch. Not sure they expected that to happen. and Not sure if Brown or Martin was supposed to cover. It looked like Martin, and he was just a touch late getting there. So it's two balls and no strikes on Parker Church with a runner in scoring position. And a swing and a miss by Parker Church. So Francis, that's his fourth stolen base of the year on as many attempts. 2-1 on Church. And Church swings a miss as he was behind that fastball from Peyton Jackson. It's now counts even at two balls and two strikes. One down here in the top of the fourth. Ashland has pushed her first run across here in the top of the fourth. Looking for more with a runner on second and only one out. And that's hit into right field. Vanover coming in, makes the catch, and the Runner's going to hold. Nice job by Vanover to make that catch and hold the runner. That's going to be two outs now, and that'll bring up Sam Lyons. 
who drew a base on balls and was caught stealing back in the second inning. So he has no official at bat today so far. Bowie County trying to get out of the uh, inning here by just giving up the one run. Nice gesture here tonight by Boyd County. They did not charge admission. Uh, Tay Thomas, a great Ashland football player and track star, is involved in a very serious accident over the weekend and uh, collecting uh, for some of the expenses the family is going to incur. Boyd County decided not to take uh, tickets tonight and, and is taking all donations uh, for the family of Tay Thomas. Nice gesture on Boyd County's part. We appreciate them. The community has come together to try to help this family and uh, and Tay Thomas. We our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family and uh, community. Our community here always responds, and they're doing it again, uh, just like they always do. And that one has popped up and out of play. One ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Runner on second for the Tomcats. And that's going to stay inside. Two balls and two strikes now. And that is strike three. It's a ninth strikeout for Jackson. One run on two hits, one left on. No Boyd County errors at the end of three and a half. It's Boyd County eight, Ashland one. We'll be back right after this. From hand-cut steaks to fall off the bone ribs, Texas Roadhouse has something for everyone. Visit TexasRoadhouse.com or download the Texas Roadhouse mobile app to get on the wait list or place a to-go order online. Fresh baked bread and honey cinnamon butter await at Texas Roadhouse. Order their legendary catering for your next event. Located at 501 Winchester Avenue across from Ashland Town Center Mall, Texas Roadhouse will help you support your local school. All right, folks, we're back here at Boyd County High School getting ready to start the bottom of the fourth. And uh, we do have, uh, looks like Parker Gibson is warming up some in the Boyd County bullpen. Not sure if he'll come in or not, but Jackson has went four innings, only given up two hits, and both of those were in that last inning. Um, and uh, we've got him with nine strikeouts on the day, and uh, – only giving up the one earned run. He gave up a base hit and then uh, a pass ball, got the runner to second, and then Marushi uh, drove in Murphy with a base hit, and that has been all the scoring for Ashland. But Peyton Jackson will lead off here in the bottom of the fourth, and Jackson's one for two, a fly out to right field, and an RBI single in the second. And Church... Throws the off speed in there, and it stays inside. 1-0 on Jackson. And that one's in the dirt. 2-0 now. But it'll be Peyton Jackson, Brogan Jones, and Jacob Vanover will be your three hitters, the four, five, and six hitters for Boyd County. And that one stays outside. It's now 3-0. and So really just what Caden Church didn't need to do is go 3-0 and 
have a possibility of putting uh, Peyton Jackson on the leadoff hitter. And he gets in the dirt, and on four straight pitches, Jackson moves up to first base. And that's going to bring up Brogan Jones, who's 0 for 1 on the day. Drew a base on balls in the first inning, hit into a fielder's choice that wound up getting the force out at third. And we've got a timeout. I'm going to come out and speak to the pitcher here. And don't know if we're going to have a pitching change or we're just going to have a discussion here. But Boyd County here up 8-1 to one here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And Boyd County, Boyd County scored in the bottom of every inning, two in the first, two in the second, four in the third. And Ashland was blanked until the top of the fourth and got their one run. Now 8-1 to one Boyd County. And you get to see these Boyd County lines a lot this week here on My Town TV. On Thursday night, I'll have Boyd County as they travel down to Greenup County on Thursday night. They'll take on the Musketeers game that return game where they had Greenup County here in one of the first games of the season here on my town. And Boyd County wound up beating Greenup that game 20 to 10 in five innings. And then Boyd County also will be on my town TV on Saturday afternoon at 12 o'clock. And they'll take on the Knights of Cabell Midland. Cabell Midland will come down 64 and, take on the Boyd County Lions and uh, a week from Saturday a big one here in the 16th region the Raceland Rams will come in to Boyd County and we'll also have that game for you here right here on My Town TV as Church throws over to first and chases Peyton Jackson back or we have I think we have a courtesy runner and I didn't see who that happened to be I'll try to get that number for you and that is in the dirt and gets to second base. And I'm told that was number seven. And I do not have a number seven on my roster. So I do have a couple of folks that are not listed or don't have numbers. And that's Isaac Leeper or Braden Nunley. I'm not sure who that is. But uh, I'm not sure if that is one of those two with number seven. But that ball is in the dirt now. Two and O on Jones. Runner at second. Appreciate my production staff getting me the number for the gentleman on second base. So Jones 2-0 from church, and that's going to stay high. And Marushi's going to throw back and had him, but wasn't the – believe that was Blevins from shortstop, wasn't able to hang on to a little bit of a collision there. And I think that's number 14, guys. It's Caleb Kelly is the courtesy runner. You just saw half of him. That's why you said seven. That's what it is. All right, Brogan Jones now 3-0. and Caleb Kelly is on second as the courtesy runner. And that's going to be strike one to Brogan Jones. Three and one now on Jones. And Jones thought that one stayed high, but he gets rung up. It's the third time tonight. Boyd County hitter thought they had ball four and got a call to strike. So now it's a full count. Jacob, or is he, yes, Jacob Vanover on deck for Boyd County. He'll be followed by Grant Slater. And Parker Gibson's going to take the walk in from the bullpen. I'm not sure if we'll see him or not. 3-2, and Jones hits that one in the left center going back, and that's over the head of the Ashland left fielder, and Kelly's going to come around to score. That was Lions in left field, and Jones is going to have an RBI single, and that moves Boyd County up 9-1. to one. So Caleb Kelly, the courtesy runner, comes around to score. Jones gets the double. And an RBI. And now that's going to bring up Jacob Vanover, who is one for two on the year or on the day. And I think we're going to have a pitching change. So we'll take a quick one minute break. When we come back, we'll tell you about the new pitcher for Ashland. You're watching the My Town TV matchup here on My Town TV. We'll be back right after this. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. To know that we impacted them it really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, 
we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastad because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. All right, folks, we are back. We have a new pitcher for the Ashland Tomcats, uh, Parker Johnson. This is his third appearance. He's thrown five and a third innings, given up seven hits, six runs, four of those earned, two walks and a strikeout. He is 0-1 on the year and has a 5.25 ERA. And Boyd County, uh, as, I, as you saw earlier, pushed one across the plate here in the bottom of the fourth and they still have a runner on second base Brogan Jones uh, who um, doubled in Caleb Kelly who courtesy ran for Peyton Jackson that's going to bring up Jacob Vanover with nobody out here Boyd County with a nine to one lead and so you have Vanover to be followed by Slater and then Dustin Webb that's the six seven and eight hitters here and so Vanover, one of two on the day. He's grounded out in the third, and he drove in Boyd County's first two runs of the game with a bases loaded two out, two RBI single to right center field. And that one's way above Vanover's head, who takes ball one. So Johnson with the 1-0 pitch here. That one's going to stay high, 2-0. and And Vanover swings and misses. Strike one, two balls and a strike. And Vanover, and that hit him on the arm, and so Vanover is going to go to first base. And so now Boyd County with two on and nobody out. And that's going to bring up Grant Slater. Slater on the day, one for two, scored a run. He doubled in the third, and he takes a strike. And flew out to left field to end the first inning. And that's in the dirt, ball one. One ball, one strike on Slater. Two on, nobody out. And Slater hits that one down the left field. That's curving. That's going to get down. Nice pick up there by Lyons. And Brogan Jones is going to come around to score. But Vanover has to stay at second. Nice job there by Sam Lyons out in left field to cut that one off and keep Boyd County from advancing, keep Vanover from advancing past second base. So an RBI single for Slater. And that's going to bring up Dustin Webb who is 0 for 1 on the day. He had sacrifice in the third inning and struck out in the second. And Webb thought about the bunt, stayed high. It's going to be 1-0 and 0 now. Boyd County now pushed two across up 10 to 1, bottom of the fourth. Johnson comes plateward. Webb bunts it, hard one down to the third baseman. Ingram, and he gets it over to Church. And that's going to be a sacrifice for Dustin Webb. Gives up the out, but that moves Slater to second and Jacob Van over to third, and that'll bring up Josh Kelly, who's had a big day. He's two for two on the day, scored two runs, and has an RBI. Kelly with a good day at the plate, and that one's going to stay high, ball one.
And Kelly hits that one into the outfield, into the gap. Murphy on his horse, and Murphy makes the catch, but not before Vanover tags, and he's going to come in to score. So Boyd County kind of manufactures a run with two sacrifices there. And so that'll bring up Ryan Brown with two outs here in the inning. Still the runner on second is Grant Slater, and Brown takes a strike. Brown has been on base after all three plate appearances today, but has drawn three walks. Caden Church walked him three separate times today. And that one's going to stay a little high. One ball and one strike on Brown. J.K. McKnight in the on-deck circle. If Brown can get on safely, and that's going to stay high. Ball two. Two balls and a strike. And Brown swings and fouls that one off. Two balls, two strikes now. Here's the 2-2 from Johnson. Brown hits that one in the gap between first and second. And he's going to come around to score is Slater. And so Brown with his first RBI of the day and his first hit, he's one for one. He gets an RBI single and puts Boyd County up 12 to one. And that's going to bring up J.K. McKnight with a runner on first, two down. Boyd County with a 12-1 lead. McKnight, big three-run homer in the left center last inning. Put the three, three of the four runs on the board for the Lions, and he's two for three on the day with four RBIs and was caught off guard on that one just a little bit. One ball and one strike on McKnight. Alex Martin is on deck. And that one's in the dirt, ball two. Two balls and a strike. And McKnight swings and misses. Two balls, two strikes on McKnight. Two outs here. Ryan Brown on first base. And McKnight fouls that one off, and it'll stay count even at two balls and two strikes. Here's a 2-2 from Johnson. That one stays high, and McKnight fouled it off. I don't think he wanted to swing. Had a look on his face and just fouled that one off. I think it he was expecting it to drop a little bit more than it did, but stays alive, keeps it at 2-2. Two and two. And McKnight hits that one in the hole. Walmsley's going to come over, bobbles it, and it gets past him, and Brown's going to hustle around the third. And McKnight's going to go to first or around the second, so it's going to be runners on second and third on the air. So Alex Martin with an opportunity here with two on and two out. Martin is one for two on today, scored a run, drawn a walk, and he's been caught stealing. And that one's going to stay high, ball one. Martin swings and misses out in front of that one just a little bit. Looked like he wanted to deposit that one over the fence with that swing. One ball, one strike, two outs here, bottom of the fourth. 
Martin held, held up on that one, two and one now. Martin swings and misses. Some off speed there. Martin was trying to drive that ball and swung through that one and missed it. Two balls, two strikes now. Martin holds off and count's going to be full now. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners on second and third for the number three hitter, Alex Martin. And he swings and misses and strikes out to end the inning, but not before Boyd County gets four runs there with two left on, one ash on air. Uh, and I believe that was on four hits. And Boyd County 4, Ashland 2, and girls softball. We'll be back with the My Town matchup right after this. Begin fostering in 2020. Having a caring adult is important, and I wanted to make sure that I gave that to any child that was in need. I chose to foster with Ramey specifically because Ramey just, they get it. The support that I get with Ramey is excellent. Anytime I need something, I know who to call, and I can call any of them. It actually has positively impacted me because it started the Tolbert family. Struggling with addiction or know someone who is? My Town TV is here to help. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to MyTownTVCares.com for links and contact information for local resources dedicated to addiction recovery. You're not alone. Reach out. All right, folks, we are back here. We have a new pitcher on the mound for Boyd County. It's number 25, Parker Gibson, making his seventh appearance of the year. He has pitched seven innings, given up five hits. Uh, four earned runs, given a walk, and four strikeouts. He has an ERA of 4.00. Boyd County up 12 to 1. Peyton Jackson has taken over at first. So I'm going to see if there might be any other changes. Looks like McKnight still in center. Brown, Martin. Thinking Jackson. Over to first, so Gibson probably took uh, Brogan Jones's spot in the lineup, substituted for him, and so for Ashland, it's going to be Blevins, and then we're probably going to have a pinch hitter for the pitcher, Parker Johnson, and then Gage Millett will be your six, seven, and eight hitters here for Ashland. Ashland to extend this game is going to have to score two here in the top of the fifth. Boyd County up. 12-1, the 10 run, 10 run rule will be in effect after five innings here. And if uh, Ashland's unable to score two, this will be the last half inning we have. So Gibson will come plateward, and that's fouled off by Blevins, 0-1. That one stays high and away, ball one. One ball and one strike. Inside and in the dirt, two balls and a strike. That one's hit in the air into right center. Vanover going back. He's going to camp underneath it. Makes the catch for the out. First out here of the top of the fifth. And that's going to bring up a pinch hitter. Number 15, Drew Kelly will pinch hit for Parker Johnson, who came in to pitch in the top of the fourth. And Drew Kelly's numbers here. It's 278 on the year. He's 10 of 36. 
three doubles and five RBIs, and that's a base hit into right field. Van Over comes and scoops it up, but Church swinging on, or excuse me, Kelly swinging on the first pitch. So now Gage Millette will step in. He's 0 for 1 on the day. One runner on. And I think we're going to have a pinch runner. Trevor Downs is going to come in and run for Kelly. So Gage Millette will... Step in. One out here in the top of the fifth. Runner on. Gibson throws it in the dirt. 1-0 and to Millette. And a swing and a miss. Strike one. Gibson comes plateward, stays low, two balls and a strike. Now it's inside. Gibson loses his footing a little bit there. It's three and one now. Three balls, one strike, one one out. Gage Millette calls time, steps out of the box. He'll step back in here. Runner on first. And that is foul. Ooh, he waited a long time to call it foul. Nice job by Gray to get out of the squad at the catcher there, but it's going to stay foul. So it's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. One out here in the top of fifth. Ashland trying to push across two runs to try to extend this ball game. Boyd County leading 12 to 1 here. And that one's in the dirt. And that's going to be a walk. So runner at first and second now. Zane Ingram is going to come up. He has He's 0 for 1 on the day. He's had a strikeout after Caleb Gray goes up and talks to Parker Gibson. I'm sure he's just saying we've got to throw strikes here. We're up 12-1. One down. We just need to get out of this one and call it a night. Gibson sets. Comes plateward. That one's going to stay outside, ball one. And after Ingram, we're back at the top of the order with L.J. Murphy for Ashland. And that is a strike, one ball and one strike. That's in the dirt, and it gets away, and the runners are going to move up to second and third. Big opportunity here for the Tomcats. Zane Ingram with a base hit can make it a nine-run game and can extend this one for at least another inning for Ashland. Gibson comes plateward with a 2-1, and he hits a ground ball to second base. Brown scoops it up over to first, and that's the out. A run will score. Millette will move to third. So we now have two outs, and L.J. Murphy will come to the plate for Ashland. He is one for two, had Ashland's first hit, scored Ashland's First run of the game, and Murphy swings and misses. And 
And Murphy holds off on that one. Is up high. Two ball, or one ball and one strike. Two outs. Runner on third. Ashland needs to get this one in if they want to play another inning. And Murphy hits that one up in the air. And it's going to go out of play. So now it's one ball and two strikes. Ashland down to their last strike right now. I guess that's one and one. Official score has it at one and one. I had it at one and two, but it's one ball and one strike. And it's got to be one and two. Yeah, he just changed it. He must have heard me on the other room over there. One ball, two strikes, two outs. And that's in the dirt. And Gray picks it up. Millette does not try to come home. So it's two balls and two strikes now on L.J. Murphy. We also have, i tell you what, Brogan Jones has moved in behind the plate, I believe. Murphy hits that one into right center. Vanover going over. He calls it off and makes the catch for the final out. And that will do it. Your final score, Boyd County 12, Ashland 2. We'll come back and we'll wrap this one up here at the My Town matchup between Boyd County and Ashland. We'll be back right after this. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Free bread. Refuel. Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Wrap this one up. Boyd County with a 12-2 win in 10 innings over the Ashland Tomcats. Boyd, uh, Boyd County scored two in the first, two in the second, four in the third, and four in the fourth. Ashland with one in the fourth and one in the fifth, but wasn't able to push that other run across to extend this game, and Boyd County wins 12-2. Uh, Ashland falls to three and thirteen. Boyd County improves to fifteen and two. Ashland and Boyd County, both these teams, will appear on My Town TV again on Thursday night. Boyd County will go to Greenup County uh, to take on the Greenup County Musketeers. They defeated Greenup County back on March the nineteenth in their second home game here of this twenty twenty four season. In five innings, 20 to 10, Ashland will play uh, Russell at home the first time they played the Red Devils. They'll be here Thursday night. Both those games scheduled to start at 6 p.m. Also on the My Town TV Sports Network, we will have uh, Boyd County at Greenup County in softball on Thursday night. And then Saturday at noon, I'll be back out here at Boyd County 
to see these same Boyd County Lions take on Cabell Midland at noon on Saturday. Should be a great week here for baseball and softball here on My Town TV. Again, as I mentioned, the Boyd County winning this one 12 to 2. Peyton Jackson had a no hitter going into four, into the fourth inning, but gave up two base hits back to back at the top of the order for LJ Murphy and Brady Marushi. Murphy had a base hit, went to second on a pass ball. Marushi then had the single that drove him home, but that was Ashland's lone run of the game until they were able to push one across in the top of the fifth, but it wasn't enough, and Boyd County comes out of here with a 12-2 to lead. We appreciate you tuning in here tonight from Boyd County. Uh, again, as I mentioned, we will have Boyd County and Ashland both back on My Town TV again on Thursday night. Boyd County at Greenup and Ashland will be at home to take on the Russell Red Devils. Appreciate Josh and Seth here tonight for my production team and camera. And appreciate you tuning in. You've been watching Boyd County Line Baseball, the My Town matchup between Ashland and Boyd County. Again, your final score, Boyd County 12, Ashland 2 in five innings. We will see you on Thursday night. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care, advice you can trust, advanced technology to understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. Struggling with addiction or know someone who is? My Town TV is here to help. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to MyTownTVCares.com for links and contact information for local resources dedicated to addiction recovery. You're not alone. Reach out today. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years.